everybody, I'm Alex and it's my favorite time of the week. Yes, it's Upstreet time. Welcome everyone watching out there. I'm Ryder and we're glad you've joined us because we are talking about the goat. <laughs> yeah, but not, not that goat. We're actually talking about love, which is the greatest of all time. But before we do that, let's have some fun. Let's do it. This is how you play Buzzer Beater. I will give you a puzzle to solve. Like this one. This puzzle has six letters and your hint is fruit. Can you solve it before the buzzer goes off? We'll find out. Did you beat the buzzer? The answer is banana. Great job. But that one was practice. Let's go for real this time. This puzzle has 16 letters and is four words. Your hint is food people love most. Can you beat the buzzer? The answer is pizza and ice cream. Did you beat the buzzer? Spectacular. Let's take it up a notch. This puzzle has 22 letters and is four words. Your hint is candy people love most. Can you beat the buzzer? The answer is Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Did you beat the buzzer? Way to go. Or WTG. That's what the kids say, right? Final round. This puzzle has 22 letters and is five words. Your hint is vacation destinations people love most. Can you beat the buzzer? The answer is the beach or the mountains. Did you beat the buzzer? You are all champions. Thanks for playing, Buzzer Beater. I am so mad right now. Do you wanna know why? Because my brother Jackson just knocked over my huge Lego creation, the one I got for Christmas off the shelf. It took two weeks to complete, and now I'm gonna have to take the whole thing apart and start over. And now he wants me to help him with the school project, and I promised him I would, but that was before he knocked over all my Legos. And right now I'm mad. I'm just really, really mad. <laughs> Man, I love Legos. They're like the goat of toys. But I do not love putting them back together after they get smashed. I can understand why Ben is so frustrated. Yeah, me too. Actually, what I think we're talking about might help Ben out. If you've been tracking with us all month long, then you know February is about the GOAT, the greatest of all time. But what is the greatest of all time? Besides Legos? Just kidding, I know this one. It's love. Yes, love is the GOAT. And you know what? Jesus had a few things to say about love. And when Jesus had an important point to make, sometimes he would tell a story, which is exactly what we're gonna do today. Um, what's the pool here for? You'll see, but you might want to lose your hat. What? Once upon a time, there were two sons. The younger son, that's you, came to his father and insisted that his dad give him his share of the inheritance. Hold up, why would he ask his dad for his share of the money while his dad was still alive? I mean, an inheritance is something you receive when someone passes away, right? Yeah, so the younger son just wanted his money right then. He didn't really want to wait. so. The father divided his money and gave the son what he asked for. Look up. Oh yeah, I'm rich. So the younger son gathered his things, excited to leave on his own adventure. He packed his stuff and set off down a dusty dirt road. What? Once he got to the city, he lived it up and spent all the money. 
uh, but eventually he ran out of money. There he was, far from home and no money. He was desperate, so the young man took a job feeding pigs for a farmer. Soon, he was so hungry that even the food he fed the pigs sounded appealing. Wait! Just so you know, I may never help you again. Okay, so there he was, hungry, all alone, far away from home, and no money. He began to think about the servants in his father's house and how they had a place to sleep and food to eat. He thought his dad might be mad at him if he went back home, but he thought maybe, just maybe, the dad would let him come home and work as a servant. So the younger son headed back home. Really? What? It was a long journey home and I'm sure it rained. The whole way, the son practiced his speech. He wasn't sure his father would even listen to what he had to say, but he had to try. As soon as he came around the bend and looked down the long road toward home, he saw a figure. Soon, he realized that this figure was running towards him. It was his dad. The father ran right to his son, and before the son could say anything, the father wrapped his son in a big bear hug. He was so happy to see his son was finally home. How about a hug? Sure. <laughs> Thanks for your help, friend. Okay, guys, so the son really made a mess of things, didn't he? But the father didn't say, okay, once you get cleaned up and pay me back all that money, then I'll accept you back. Then I'll love you, did he? No, no way. The father ran to his son and hugged him. The father chose to love his son no matter what. And you know what, guys? That's exactly how God loves us. And because God loves you and me with a no matter what kind of love, he wants us to love others no matter what too. That means when someone is unkind to you or when someone messes up or hurts our feelings. Or when someone dumps a whole bucket of slop on your head and doesn't tell you she's about to do it. Exactly, because love is the goat. It's the greatest of all time. And the best way that you and I can show others that God loves them is to love others no matter what. But man, guys, this isn't easy. So let's ask God to help us this week. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your son Jesus and sending him. Thank you for loving us no matter what. When we mess up, you still love us. God, help us this week to do the greatest thing of all time and love others no matter what. Amen. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, 37 through 39. Love the Lord your God. Your heart, your soul, and your mind. The first command of its kind. It's the greatest of all time. The second is not like the first. Love is the greatest part of this verse. Love your neighbor as yourself. This love's the goat. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, 37 through 39. Okay, I should choose to love my brother no matter what happens, even if he destroys my Legos. And I guess the best thing I could do is to help him with this project like I promised. But after that, I'm gonna see if he wants to help me build these Legos back up again. Sometimes, even when we don't feel like it, we gotta remember to love those around us, no matter what happens. And I know I'd want him to forgive me if I broke something of his, and even though he bugs me, he's still my brother. Catch y'all later. <laughs>